Hey guys, so I wanted to get in and do my nine week update with you today. I'm actually sitting in what will be the baby's room. Um, we are planning to paint this wall. It was very nicely painted by the previous owners of the house, but it's just not exactly our style. Um, so we're still kind of trying to figure out what we want to do um, in terms of color and all of that and I'm kind of waiting to find out if it's a boy or a girl until we make all those decisions. He shameless. He does. Yeah, as you can see, this is currently the catch-all workout room and I obviously can't be alone. Dude fuck. Okay, so week nine, I actually started my thyroid medication. I got back, or I guess, my doctor got back the results of my TSH on my blood work from my first doctor's appointment and um, the numbers weren't looking quite right. So I was put on Synthroid and she did say that I may be able to go off of it after the pregnancy or I may be on it for a lifetime. So if you've ever had um, this whole thyroid thing appear in pregnancy, I'd love to hear from you below, um, particularly if afterwards it went away or if you're still taking the thyroid medication um, that's what I'm really interested in. Before I started taking the medicine I was so tired like falling asleep at my computer I know I've said stuff um, in the previous videos but I was exhausted and I felt like I was on a whole nother level of being exhausted like beyond what people normally talk about so I felt like there was something wrong and after being on this thyroid medicine for four days this week, I feel so much better. Like, I feel like a whole new person. Like, yes, I'm tired, but it's the tired that people talk about being pregnant, not the like falling asleep at the wheel tired. This week I tried meat. I don't think I want meat still. Um, I was a meat eater before pregnancy. I have not wanted meat. Sense. It just for some reason grosses me out. I heard it's a super normal aversion that you have when you're pregnant. I tried chicken. Don't want chicken. I have been craving a crazy amount of sweet things like cereal, all the ice cream, and I'm trying to watch my sugar intake. But right now this baby is growing off of ice cream, I tell ya. Lots of calcium going in this body. Um, I did have a migraine this week. I think I did explain this in another video, but um, I suffered from chronic migraines for years and I started going to a chiropractor and those have been almost completely alleviated. Maybe one a month, but previously we were talking like three or four a month. So they have gotten way better, um, but my chiropractor did warn me that my Oh, my adjustments probably wouldn't be holding as for as long of a period of time um, just because of the relaxing going through your body and I have noticed um, that not quite migraines but headaches are coming back about once every week and a half um, and this past week I did have one migraine. I had to stay home from work. Um, I did end up going to the chiropractor and got some relief but it was pretty bad and I think since I'm not used to having them now, I was kind of used to, you know, powering through and I knew what to do when I got one. Um, so we did do some um, shopping around this weekend and I got two cute things that I want to show you. It's just been kind of fun picking up little things here and there. We actually went to Goodwill. Um, we like to just kind of look around and sometimes find really good deals and really good like diamonds in the rough, I found designer jeans. Um, we were looking for shorts for my husband because as you know, most classic men's clothes never really go out of style and you can't really beat buying $4 shorts. So, um, I got baby jeggings. <laughs> Could you just die? They're just so cute. I mean, I figured a boy or a girl can wear these. They're three month size, so. They should, unless this baby is a giant, which very well could happen, should fit them for, you know, the first little chunk that'll be in the winter. And then I couldn't resist these. I got overalls. I mean, this is just amazing. 
these are so cute. So, just a few little, I mean, they were a dollar. I couldn't help it. And once you wash them, they're just as good as new. And I'm sure a child wore this maybe twice and grew out of it. So, I'm very excited about my purchases. That's it for week nine. Um, I'll be back for a week 10 update. And hopefully this medicine continues to work well and I have an even better week. Y'all have a good week and I'll see you next week. Bye.